Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? And I remember Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? I was grocery shopping earlier that day, minding my own business when a worker walked by and shoved me. Feller named Zeke. Why he did it, I can't say, but what I do know is I left the store right then and there without even having bought my cherished cottage cheese. My parents always taught me to be the better person, but it was somehow dishonorable to stoop to someone else's level. I just call that playing the game. Taking cottage cheese from a dead man is like taking candy from a baby. Doesn't make you feel good, but I've felt bad my whole life. It's not a kind world I was born into, and all you can do is treat everyone else the way they treat you. It's human nature to want cottage cheese, and people have done much worse than steal from the dead to obtain it. But I await my judgment with anticipation, because I know what no one else cares to admit. When faced with the same situation I was, no human being could control the urge for cottage cheese. I had a friend named Richie once, claimed he was the son of Satan. Well, if there's an afterlife, it's not one I've ever seen. When you're young, you think you're invincible. Then one day you open your eyes and realize you've lost everything you thought you cared about. Your wife, your kids, your life, your model train set, and finally, your cottage cheese. I think about Janie more than I'd like to admit, wonder where exactly I went wrong. Oh well, no going back now. Sometimes I even think about the man who stole my cottage cheese, how one selfish act can turn your whole world upside down. Why is it that man's first instinct is hostility, to take instead of give? Questions only a dead man cares to ponder, as we dream of a world better than the one we were forced to live in. But I did dream, dream of how it could have been different, because my dreams were all I had left. <laughs> 